Boogie, drop that beat. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Talking Out Loud with Miss Talkative. Everything I say is my own opinion, alleged, and strictly entertainment purposes. Remember, I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe. Comment on the video, let me know what you think. So, now that Carlos has gotten wind of people going in on him about um, his tour with the tour list, you know, with that's dateless, now, all of a sudden, he's put together uh, four more tour dates for his live podcast, just so, in my opinion, he can call the people a liar. Um, but only four more, um, only four more dates added after a two month break. His uh, live podcast with Melody was in January, and his next live podcast is not till April. So that's a two month. Um, break in between tour dates so i think his one night only with melody was um was only meant to be a one it was meant to be just a one night live tour one night only one and done i think it was uh meant to just convince the people um it was it was to uh get melody to let her guard down and try to you know, get her supporters to support, start supporting him and uh, support his other castmates. But it backfired because Carlos, the um, his snakish ways always reveals themselves be, um, because um, Carlos is always too busy trying to convince people that he's the king, but he has never shown the people how or why He's he's the king. I mean, he keep on saying his his work and mentioning how long he's been in the business, but everything that he has done throughout this business is um it, it doesn't it doesn't do well. I mean, and uh nothing after all of his uh things that he's accomplished, the most thing that people can actually remember is what he did on Real Housewives of Atlanta and being kicked out. So even though he keep on wanting to mention about all his uh, time here, his 20 year, um, 20 year run, he can't get from up under being let go uh, by Bravo and he can't move away. He can't shake the, um, the drama surrounding or people being convinced that he has something to do with Phaedra being let go because of the whole dungeon incident uh, surrounding Candace. But, um, but if Carlos was truly the king as he claims to be, it's like, where's the rest of his tour dates? He should have at least booked, you know, be booked for the next six months just to start. I'm not saying king uh king status with only four days. And you know, I'm not gonna talk about his lineup that he have because I don't know too much about Teresa Giddens uh uh from Jersey, except for the fact that, you know, her and her husband went to jail and I don't know anything about uh the Orange County lady, Tamara Tamara Judge. So I won't so I won't speak on anything that I don't know of. You know, Tamar, however, I do know her. I'm not a fan of her. Uh, she's, in my opinion, she's just too doggone rude and has a nasty personality, nasty disposition about herself. So, no, I can't, um, I don't support her at all. I mean, some people, you know, that supporting his tour, they may be pleased to see her on the tour. And, you know, they may, you know, like Tamar because a lot of people like Tor Tamar's nasty, rude behavior, whatever, um, her extra, um, it's not about her being, uh, being extra. It's about her being too extra. And it's like I say, her, she has a nasty disposition about herself. She's always playing victim, but I'm not going on the tour. I'm not, you know, uh, so to each his own and the, but the ladies from Love and Marriage DC, 
I agree with that choice. I really do agree with it. Um, finally, you know, some people from his franchise, his own franchise, he's going to uh, actually get a chance to meet with, bring on tour to a law to a live audience or whatever, and get a chance to have a sit down where they can have their say and um, get their their words their original thoughts out to the people without it being chopped and screwed and stuff like that. Even though knowing Carlos, they probably do a dry run or um, rehearsal two and three times before the podcast even, um, even comes uh, to light. So I wouldn't put it past them because Carlos, from what Melody did to Carlos made him... Well, I can't say Melody made him look bad. He made himself look bad because for him to sit up on that stage and say that he didn't know anything uh, that Melody was going through when she previously interviewed with him and told him that she would, uh, she thought about leaving the show a couple times because of Martel. He cannot, um, he don't know the difference between reality TV and, and reality. So she did say because of what was going on between Martel on the show and behind the scenes, she did think about quitting um, many times. So for him to get on that stage and act like um, like now he don't understand what's going on, he don't understand what, what she's talking about and he didn't know, he wasn't aware. And then talking about her being a straight A student, he didn't think she needed any help. It's like he's contradicting himself all over the place. But anyway, the um, kudos to the ladies from um, Love and Marriage DC for uh, finally getting the chance to... Um, be on his live panel be uh, to be noticed because it was uh, it was stated that the ladies felt that they were um you know they were being ignored by Carlos and that they were um they felt as though that Carlos was um you know just not they they didn't know where they stood with Carlos so I'm glad to see that he has picked them back up and but I think that's that's just to show face so he can um, make it look good in the people's eye. But regardless of what, they is his franchise, part of his franchise, and they are going to be on, they have been added to his tour. But I still believe that if he had took advantage of the success of the Huntsville podcast with Melody, he would have had much better success moving forward. His tickets were sold out the same day that they were announced for the Melody Sharif uh, live podcast. And once it was announced, he should have then started booking other venues, setting other dates, uh, booking other guests, or maybe he should have had at least more than a few tours booked and ready to move on from one tour to the next to keep the energy going. So I wonder with him taking a two month break after his one night only with Melody, I wonder will his newly added tour dates be as successful? I don't, um, you know, I don't show none of the dates being sold out as of yet. I know it's only been a few days since the announcement were made, but still the raindrops, they should have showed up by now. They should have showed up and they should have at least, you know, sold one of them tours out. I mean, it is for their king. Um, so maybe, you know, with him recruiting show enough Wanda to help promote his tour, he might have a little more success. Mm, nah, but, um, as much as Carlos advocates for Bravo and their housewives, I'm sure it'll be, you know, a big disappointment if, uh, um, if he doesn't, uh, sell out the, the tours with the two housewives on it, but maybe he will because I, Maybe people are interested in finding more or seeing if there is more um, to tell or get out of Teresa surrounding her and her husband's past issues and stuff like that. So, I mean, you never know. It may be, but, you know, maybe they'll, uh, but maybe um, people will support because if nothing else, people will probably attend just to see what's going on, to be nosy like we all do. Or in hopes of just asking, being able to ask Carlos 
or whichever guest is uh, for that tour date, maybe um, just to ask them a question. And uh, plus, Carlos did state that there would be surprise guests, but I'm like, what's a surprise guest for? He uh, he needs to bring out uh, bring all his guests to the forefront. Maybe his surprise guest he haven't booked yet, so that's why he have to keep them a surprise be, uh, for now because even he don't even know who he's going to be able to book for the surprise guest. So maybe he's still working on that piece, and that's why he's leaving it as surprise guest. But nonetheless. There's always hope, but either way, I don't really care if he do or don't sell any of his tickets to his uh, to his live podcast because I'm not a raindrop. I'm not a, a Carlos supporter at all. I feel as though that, you know, he is the snake that um, that people call him or, you know, and and so whatever happens just happens um, because in my opinion, his tour started and ended in Huntsville with Melody Cherie. He didn't plan for or even want any more tour dates. In my opinion, I believe that this uh, that the people dogging him out, talking about him, actually forced his hands. And that's why you only see four dates listed. That's just my opinion. I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video. Let me know what you think.